Sometimes finding a group mean can feel like a lot of work, so I'm going to use the spreadsheet to do this problem. There is a little bit of work because I do have to type the information into the spreadsheet, but the spreadsheet will actually do the calculations for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in my title heading, which is the class interval. And I'm using the data from matched problem 2 in section 11.2 of our textbook. When I type in the class intervals, I want to type the first values and the second values in sec separate columns so that I can use them to do math. So I have my first values and I'll type my Now, next thing that I want to calculate is this xi, and when I look at my formula and the definitions, this xi is actually the midpoint for each interval. So I'm going to label this midpoint so that it's very descriptive, and in order to find the midpoint, it's a formula, so I'm going to use my equals, and I want to add the 2, but I want to divide that answer then, so I have to use a parenthesis and then I want to take this starting point plus the ending point and you'll notice how I'm just clicking on the cells to get their names and then I want to take that sum and divide it by 2 and you'll notice that I closed my parenthesis in here before I divided by 2 hit enter take that take the little corner drag it the whole way down there are my midpoints then I have this FI the frequency and the frequencies are given in my table of data over here, so I'm just going to retype this information. And so then I have the product. Product is just the word for multiplication. We see here that what we're doing is multiplying the midpoint times the frequency. So again, I'm going to use a formula here. In my formulas, I need an equals to make it a formula and I'm going to be taking the midpoint and multiplying times the frequency for each interval. So hit enter, it gets an answer, pull on the little square, pull that the whole way down through. Now the n is the sum of all of the frequencies. So if I go right here at the bottom of this, I can type the sum, and we've done that before, so we'll type equals the word sum for that function, parenthesis, type on our first one, colon, and click on the last one so that we get that whole interval and our parenthesis and hit enter. So the sum is that there are 48 pieces of data, that is the total of the frequencies. And again, I need the total of the products, that's the summation that is part of the formula. And so I'm going to type a similar thing here, equals sum, helps if I spell it right, parenthesis, first number, colon, last number, parenthesis, and hit enter. Now I'm ready to find my grouped mean. So just to keep track of things, grouped mean, and I like that. I'm going to use my text wrap here so that that fills that space. And here I'm basically using the formula. So I've already found the sum of these products, that's this 484, and then I divide it by the n, the total frequency, which I've also already found. So I'm just going to type equals, and I want the sum of the products divided by the frequency, and I hit enter, and here I have my answer. If I look up the answer in the textbook for this example, it has approximately 10.1, and so you see that our work matches. Now, there's nothing magical about using the spreadsheet. It did involve some typing. Really nice things is that if I do one problem here, I can replace these class intervals with data from a new problem, and then all my formulas are still there. And then the second thing is I really just had the spreadsheet doing the math for me. So as long as I could type in the formulas, the spreadsheet will do the calculations.